This Bellingham woman is accused of the unimaginable. Police say Cami Dixon shook her boyfriend's daughter, Hazel Holman, so hard, causing brain bleeds, injuries linked to shaken baby syndrome. I can't die. Eight, four. I know. You know? Since Hazel's death, this is a moment of the three-year-old that her grandfather has replayed over and over. I just don't understand how anybody could hurt her. When I hear her say not guilty with no look on her face, it infuriates me. Dixon's attorney releasing this statement to Q13 News. The shaken baby syndrome diagnosis has been under scrutiny over the past decade. It has been used in courts to send a number of innocent people to prison. We ask the community refrain from passing judgment on Miss Dixon until they have all of the facts, but family members can't get over all of the heartbreaking medical evidence that has since surfaced. Prosecutors say Hazel was physically tormented for the last six months of her life by Dixon while Hazel's father, Brandon Homan, was at work. The child was walking around in pain for the last six months. The skeletal exam they did shows that there was broken hips, broken knees, Wrist broken. A medical examiner pointing to four bones that broke and healed, not to mention court documents that cite bruises to her body and at least two visits to the hospital for a handburn and eye injury. Pedersen says his granddaughter was never in the right care and he blames Child Protective Services. They took her out of a kind and loving home where she was always happy. Hazel's father at one point was arrested for domestic violence, causing CPS to step in and take Hazel away. She was with her grandmother up until this summer when she was placed back with Brandon Holman and his girlfriend. Tonight, Pedersen claims CPS received multiple complaints while Hazel was in Dixon's care, but that CPS failed to protect Hazel. If you go to the hospital, that should be an immediate home visit. And if it's questionable, they should be taken. I'm going to miss everything about her. And he says he won't back down until he gets answers from CPS. I just hope justice is served. You know, I hope that every bad thing that happened to her comes to light. Last week, Hazel's father, Brandon Holman, passionately defended his girlfriend in court, but with new evidence surfacing alleging abuse against his daughter. We wanted to know if he had changed his mind. He had nothing to talk about today. In Bellingham, Hannah Kim, Q13 News. And Q13 News has